So I've been talking about making money online on this channel for a while now and uh, I kind of noticed that stock market is one of the topics that is really booming right now and people are really asking you a lot of questions about stock marketing and maybe the kind of apps they can use to invest in the stock market. And also some time ago I made a video or maybe some videos about stock marketing and maybe some of the apps that I use to invest in the stock market. So in this video I just want to compare those two apps that I use to help you in deciding which one you want to use or maybe if you want to use both of them. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. And to the new people in the house, as always, my name is Harris Kari. And on this channel, we talk mostly about personal finance and personal branding in Nigeria, i.e. anything that has to do with building multiple sources of income for yourself so you won't have to rely on just one source of income. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, go ahead and smash the red subscribe button right there so you can join the family. So back to the video. So as I said, we're gonna be comparing those two apps that I use to buy stocks from Nigeria. So if you haven't yet watched the video that I talked about the Nigerian stock market, or maybe the videos that I talked about these two apps that I use to buy stocks from Nigeria, I'll link those videos in my card up here and also in the description of this video. So as you all know, these two apps are Bamboo and Chaka. So first of all, let's talk about the registration. So both of these apps are free to register for any Nigerian. And also for the registration, both of these apps would require BVN. So I talked about this in both the videos I made about these apps. I assured you that so far, December 2020, these apps are both legit. I myself use them to buy and sell both local and global stocks from Nigeria. So if you feel you still don't trust those apps, it's okay, you don't have to register on any of them. But if you really want to start trading and investing in the stock market today, the links to download these apps would be in the description of this video. So next, let's talk about the type of stocks that you can buy on each of these apps. So let's start with Chaka. So as it says here in Chaka, invest in both local and global stocks. Meaning, Chaka gives you the opportunity whether to buy or invest in a local stock or a global stock. A local stock meaning any stock that is within Nigeria and a global stock like any stock that is within the New York Stock Exchange or any other stock market out there. That means you can invest in both dollars and naira on Chaka. And on the other hand, on Bamboo, you only have access to buy or invest in the global stocks. That means on Bamboo, you can only buy or invest in stocks in the dollar currency. So now next, let's move to the minimum amount that you can deposit on each of these apps to start trading or investing in stocks today. So this time, let's start with Bamboo. So the minimum amount that you can deposit in your wallets on Bamboo is $20. You can see that in your wallet section when you try to deposit money into your account. And Chaka, on the other hand, has a minimum deposit of $10 for the global stocks and 1,000 Naira only for the local stocks. So you can go ahead and deposit 1,000 Naira only into your wallet and start buying stocks today. So next up, let's talk about the design of this app. Is it preferable for people who are into stock trading or is it suitable for people who are into stock investing? Well, if you don't know the difference between stock trading and stock investing, I actually have a video where I talked about them in depth. So if you want to know more about the difference between stock trading and stock investing, I strongly suggest you watch that video. I'll link it right up here in my card and also in the description of this video. So let me just briefly shed light on them here. Stock trading is when you buy a stock and you decide to sell it within a duration of six months. And stock investing is when you buy a stock and you decide to hold that stock for over six months or even over a year or even over a decade. Back to the app. So I think both apps are actually suitable for both stock trading and stock investing. So let me know in the comment section what you think about what I just said. So moving on to the next one, commission fees. So I just want to talk a little bit about the commission fees because you know most of the times when you decide to buy a stock or maybe sell a stock or even deposit money into your account. Just like in most financial applications, you know, there's a certain commission fee that the app might take or something like that. So in this case, the app serves as your broker because you know if you were to buy a stock like manually the way people used to do back then, you would have to pay your broker something for them to buy your stock. You know, that's kind of a commission for them since they are helping you to buy your stock. So in this case, the app takes a certain small fee as a commission for selling you a stock or maybe buying you a stock. So on Chaka, when you decide to buy a global stock, the commission fee starts anywhere from $2. I think it has a certain cap that I'm not really sure about, but I think it's around $10 that's the cap for the commission fee no matter how much stock you're buying so it starts on two dollars so if you're buying a stock for ten dollars that means they will take 
two dollars out of that ten dollars so that means you might buy a stock for eight dollars or maybe if you have more money in your account they will now take the two dollars from your balance in your wallet so don't get scared you know when you hear me saying they'll take out two dollars or something that's a commission fee that you would have to pay for you to buy a stock so for the local stock it starts from one percent of the amount of stock you are trying to buy so i i'm not sure what it goes from there but i know it goes up a little bit but it has a certain cap too that i'm not really sure about i'm sorry about that so you can let me know in the comment section if you know anything about those caps so we can help out each other here and also help out other people on this video so for bamboo i think the commission starts from around 1.5 percent so i'm not sure where it goes from there up or down but it starts from 1.5%. That is 1.5% of the amount of stock that you are trying to buy. So now guys, since we've talked much about these apps and compared them, let's try and look at the pros and cons of each of these apps. So let's talk about the customer service of these apps. So for Chaka, I have had some experiences with the customer service and you know, some few things that I had to just request for assistance. I would say Chaka's customer service is on point because of all the experiences I had with them. Anytime I reach out to them, like the customer service doesn't take more than well i would say within 24 hours i always get everything that i ask for rectified even if it has to take more than 24 hours they will notify me or give me time maybe within 48 hours and you know when you're given a specific time like the way it doesn't really bother you because you are expecting them to perform their magic within those hours so for chaka and for bamboo well i would say i've never really had any problem with bamboo for me to even look for a customer service representative but i can say well from the looks of it it might be good too because you know something you've never had first-hand experience you can never really say what it is so i've never really had any experience with customer service of bamboo so i can say well they might be good they might not be i'm not really sure but so next let's look at the deposits so for bamboo well the deposit is as easy as because it is you just pressing some few buttons and the money reflects in your account. And now when it comes to Chaka, well, Chaka used to be so easy to deposit too because you just press some buttons just like Bamboo and everything will be in your account. But right now, I'm not really sure what's happening there because that's the reason why I had to look for customer service actually. So right now, you would have to transfer the money into a certain account before it reflects in your Chaka wallet. So just in case you might be having difficulties depositing, there are a lot of ways to deposit, but right now, I think it is just the bank transfer or maybe the card transfer that is working for Chaka because I've tried depositing money directly, you know, from the app, but I had to like send the money or maybe transfer the money to a certain account before it reflects in my wallet. So Chaka, I hope you guys look into this. You know, the deposit method is kind of not easy as before so i just hope you guys fix something you know so we can just click some few buttons again and everything just be in our accounts so guys i think that would be all for this video and i hope this video was so helpful to you and i hope it helps you a lot in something that you might be trying to do you know about the stock market and maybe buying stocks from nigeria so let me know in the comment section if you have anything you want to ask me if you have any question drop it in the comment section if you have anything you want to add on this video also drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to respond to you and I'll be there to, you know, interact with you guys and have fun. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button right there and also click on the subscribe button. If you also want to be part of the family and also be part of the conversation. So guys, go out there and start buying stocks from all those companies that you love from Nigeria. You know, you can buy from global stocks, you can buy from local stocks. It doesn't matter where you buy. As long as you trust and believe in the company you're buying in and guys that will be all from me today and as always go ahead and create but don't hate see you in the next one peace